It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Rams. And it's coming up next. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. That's where we are for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Miami Dolphins taking on the Los Angeles Rams. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, Every time there's something different to focus on. So I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me. <laughs> you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a longtime starter in the NFL, a former number one overall pick way back in 2009. It's Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. Stafford going to put it up right away. That's caught. Puka Nakua. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. A uh, first run now for Kyron Williams. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran the ball. Looks like they've got the defense set back on their heels. Let's see if they can keep this moving. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 41, here's second and six. Here's Stafford. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Back to throw. Stafford. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. Down to the 10. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. Well, they were advancing the ball. They had a couple first downs under their belt, but a big mistake there on the opening drive leads to six points the other direction. And what a good read that was on his part, Brandon, because it prevents a possible scoring drive with how they were moving things along. And it gives the defense the early advantage was going to be a definitely entertaining battle between these units.
Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And that makes it 7-0 Dolphins. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six. So we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Stafford here coming off his pick six. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short gain. Off of play action, here's Stafford. That's into the hands of 2-2 Atwell. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A gain there of 30 big ones. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. On the counter, here's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. They'll come up facing third and five. Out of the gun, Stafford. And that will be incomplete. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungavailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. You want to talk about a driven player partner. This guy is absolutely that person. He doesn't just have goals in this game. He wants to be remembered among the best to play the position, and he treats every game as an audition for that. It's a lofty goal to set for yourself, but we've seen his drive lead to some impressive games from him. Perhaps another one is in store today. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. 
I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. From the 22, here's second and eight. Now they'll send Waddle in motion left. Now a fake on the jet sweep and a give to Mostert. Broke a tackle, but not much room there. Just up past the 25, no further. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Tug of Iloa going to try and throw on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. Able to slither by. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. Meanwhile, to his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. Two are going to throw. Tyreek Hill's got another one. He'll get it inside the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 44 yards. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Well, early on, they have all facets of the game working in tandem. Yeah, you give the defensive touchdown early, give you the first score. And then your offense piggybacks on top of that and gets their own. And any coach we've ever talked to, and we've had that conversation with them prior to the game, they always say, you know, if we can score on defense or special teams, that gives us like a 95% chance of winning the game. I don't know if that number's correct, but it certainly does tend to play out that way, doesn't it? It does. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And the Rams now coming out on the field. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Now it's Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it's second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 22 now, here's the second down and nine. Now Stafford. And that one complete downfield to Cup. 
And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. A gain of three, second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. From just across the midfield stripe, here's second down and seven. A shotgun snap for Stafford. Open man is Atwell, complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 35. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Well, we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They go back to the ground with Williams. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Stafford. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be fourth down. A short gain that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The kick by Maher is good, and they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. to three. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously, not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. After the made field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look at repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter. As they've got a second and eight forthcoming. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HN. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. 
They fake the handoff. Now Tua. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Give him 30 yards there. This offense is looking very comfortable here in this first half. Very relaxed, very smooth, very efficient. No wasted motions. Things are definitely going their way, and they continue to move the ball downfield. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Going to the air, Tagovailoa. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and five. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 20-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing, but as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Shifts by at the 15. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down and a yard. Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. They give him two yards there as they're set up now with a first and goal. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. Here's Mostert. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. A good run of six yards there. Gets him closer to the goal line with second down coming up. Hat tip to that offensive line. They're clearing some holes, even down here deep in the red zone. And that's a nice pickup on the ground on first and goal. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now they'll throw with Tungabailoa. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Now we've got third and goal coming up, and couldn't you imagine being in that huddle, partner? You know they're looking at each other saying, we can't come away with just three points after this drive. Yeah, they've covered a lot of ground. They want more than that three. From the three-yard line again, they'll try and punch it in here on third and goal. They chan will score. Touchdown, Miami. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Sanders now to add the extra point. And it's 21 to 3. Now, after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Taken at the goal line. And running with power here. And he returns this to the 22. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. And this, let's face it, an important drive if they're going to get back into this ballgame. Think about going into the locker room down 21 to 10 as opposed to 21 to 3. 21 to 10, a little more optimism, a little more bounce around the locker room, a little more discussion about how they're going to finish this thing off. 21 to 3. I think discouragement clouds that locker room. Yeah, and I think a touchdown much bigger than a field goal on this drive just to get into the end zone and get that momentum. 
And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. A nice stick and stop for a loss here from Jalen Phillips. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. On second down, here's Stafford. Now that'll be caught by Cup. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worried about traffic coming out on the other end. Here's Stafford. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. Here's Ethan Evans now. Here's Barrios. It'll be a 41-yard punt. Give them five on the return. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Miami's offense set and ready to go. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. They'll start on the ground with Mostert. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Now a stoppage here as it looks like we've got a Dolphin shaken up on the play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They'll work from the 36 on second and six. Now Tua. Over the middle and complete to Waddle. And Waddle going to have a Dolphins first down as he's up to the 45. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down. Throwing now is Chunga Vailoa. Open man is Waddle complete. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. The offense on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 37. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Play action, now it's Tua. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Now a second and 10. A run with Mostert up the middle. 
And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full ten yards on third down. Off a of play action, tongue of Iloa. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick, and bulldozing his way through. And a big return will get him all the way down to the 35. So really the first speed bump that this offense has encountered, they'd had the rule of the roost here in this first half, but now slowed up just a bit by the interception. And there's a chance that that's a wake-up call for them because you don't want to go on autopilot too early. That team on defense is capable of making some plays similar to the one they made right there. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and ten here. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Now second and five. Again, it's Williams. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Well, they were handed great starting field position on this drive, but now they face a third and four. Stafford now to throw. Across the middle, and this pass complete to Cooper Cup. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But with the score where it is, you're not thinking field goals right now. You need touchdowns. So that was a much-needed conversion there on third down. Go, let's get that touch. Yes, let's get it. On first down, Stafford here. Looking for Cooper Cup again, two in a row. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Consecutive catches for him. That good for 11. And these two hooked up on a nice gain to play before. And I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it. So they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. Here's Stafford. Throw left side complete to Cup. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Let's go, let's go. Let's Throwing is Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. 2-2 two -two Atwell. A five-yard touchdown. And the Rams get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Until that late score here in the second quarter, they'd only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, and when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as a head coach? What? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And it makes the score 21 to 10. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Braxton Berrios selected to bring it out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. 
And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throw caught by Achan. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. Barrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. Tongue of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. Motion man is Berrios. He'll look to Mostert to start things out. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. This defense could use a few more plays like that right now. It certainly could, but think about it from an offense's perspective right now. They've got a lead, but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves. Still want to move at a nice pace. On second down, Tua. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On play action, here's Tua. And his throw is incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Here's second and ten. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. 
The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Escaping the pressure right. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. He opted to go with a scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. Nice call on defense, rolling out the nickel package for that big third down play, and he did an excellent job locking down coverage and forcing him to try and run for it, and he doesn't get there, which brings up a big fourth down call. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now the attention turns back to the Rams offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10. At the 20. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He'll get this one to cop complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. Third and two, Stafford. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they get five there on third and two. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in a shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Atwell here. Ball on the 39. Here's a second and four. Back to throw. Stafford. Right back to Atwell. That's complete. So he stopped for no gain. And it brings up third and five now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here comes the Rams punter now as he's on to kick it away. And here comes Berrios. It'll be a 44-yard punt, six on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Miami set to take over. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Vailoa. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. 
second and ten. Up the middle they go with Moster. And he'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Out of the gun on third down. Here's Tua. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Take it at the 37. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. L.A. set to take over again on offense. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 42. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That'll be caught by Cup and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. On first down at Stafford. To the right side and complete to Atwell. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Barney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it. And to be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play call like that. So when they do... They go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Now it's Stafford. Now this will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it. There you go. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And yeah, he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Just a gain of a couple there. And now third down and six to go. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Now Stafford. And that is incomplete. 
The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Maher able to put this one through, and that'll make this an eight-point game. So three points, maybe not a grand prize at this stage, but it does get them back within one score. It certainly does because now they stay within shouting distance, so that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot. After the made field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. And when you're in a one-score game in the second half, now's not the time to force the football into places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. From the 21, it's second and 10. Here's Tua. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense, but on game day they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So the big play moves them all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Tongue of Iloa working out of the gun. And he'll get this into the hands of Braxton Berrios. That's good. The completion there for seven yards at its second down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, they've hit four of seven. This time they face a third and two. Tua sets up to pass it. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down, and comfortably so as he gets five there on third and a yard. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go through a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. And his throw here is incomplete. What would look like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. 
They hand it off to Mostert. And this defense rallies, and they stop him short of the first down right near the 24. Well, seven yards on the carry there, but now they're staring at fourth down. Well, after another really nice run, this is where a defense coordinator earns his money. His guys have been on the field a long time, so he's got to decide what he wants to do to try and slow them down. Is he going to substitute some players in, get some fresh guys, or is he just going to try to attack and try and find a way to take the ball away from them? Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins will add on to their lead. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. L.A. readies for its next possession. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 23. He'll look to Williams to begin things. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so that can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Here's a second and eight. Stafford and that nearly intercepted it's incomplete now remember he had a pick earlier but couldn't reel that one in oh this defense knows fourth quarter they need to make a play that one was ripe for the taking could have changed the complexion of the ball game but it winds up incomplete throwing on third down Stafford that is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. From just shy of midfield, here's a second and seven. To the air again, Stafford. He'll find a man over the middle, 2-2 Atwell. Seven catches for him now, and this last one, a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Up the middle, it's Williams. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. Here's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 18. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. 
Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback, makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances. But I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Stafford. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. The kick by Marr is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After the made field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. Berrios now from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Now we get Tyreek Hill and the rest of the Miami offense back out there. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. On the ground, it's Mostert to start the drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, oh, they'll certainly be on the tablets going over that one for sure. Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. The Dolphins on third down, five out of nine thus far. This is third and eight. Two are going to throw. They'll let this go deep for Waddle. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Rams are right back in this football game. But that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. The football going back to the Rams now. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now this series could very well determine our outcome. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 46. They begin the drive with Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. 
from the 50 at Stafford. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And now third down and six to go. Now they couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Here's Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. So it's Rams football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Play action, Stafford. That'll be caught, it's cut. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars, get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Now it's Stafford. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. 2-2 Two -two Atwell with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have a chance to tie things up as they trail by two here in the fourth. The touchdown is huge, but the focus now is on the two-point play. I don't want to say they have a cushion here, but if they don't get it, they still have a chance for onside kick. Yeah, they would need some big-time help, but you're right. There would be a shot, but the focus right now on that two-point conversion. Stafford, and it's caught. And with it, we are tied here in the fourth. Huge, huge conversion there to tie this thing up, but they're not done yet. Their defense needs to get a stop. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for the other team to come downfield and put some points on the board, but job one was taken care of. The two-point conversion to get this thing tied. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. This taken in right around the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Dolphins offense returning to the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked his special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key... Oh, look at this. It's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. And the Rams are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. I think it's safe to say this is a game he's not going to forget anytime soon, <laughs> Charles. Three interceptions. It's rare that we see three interceptions by one team, let alone by an individual. And I think that after the second one, he's probably telling his teammates, any ball that's in the air, it's going to be mine. And that turned out to be true. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. 
They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Now Stafford. To the sideline and incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Stafford now to throw. Throw out wide is incomplete. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving him nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. They'd like to avoid overtime here, so maybe they can work the sidelines, but then defensively, how do they adjust to that if they do work the sideline? It's the old leverage game, and we usually talk about leverage at the line of scrimmage, right? Who's going to win with the low blocking and everything that goes along with that? But in this case, you're trying as a defender to leverage them towards the middle of the field, not let them get to the sidelines and try and tackle them in bounds in order to run the clock out. Chess match here late. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Just over 50 seconds remain. Here's second and 10. Throwing to a short throw to Smith. What do you think? Play this safe? Just worry about getting to OT? Yeah, don't make any risky throws. It's going to change the outcome. But if anyone slips, take the big shot. An important one here, no doubt. Third and four. Here's Tua on third down, HN. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. A call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Here's first and ten. They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. And five yards, not going to cut it here. That clock continues to run. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports.
So it's the Dolphins who are going to get the football first here as we are back underway now in overtime. Oh, a good looking return set up here. He's past the 30. He will score. Touchdown, Miami. It's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Yeah, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. Sanders on for the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. And no doubt one of the most, if not the most, exciting play we'll see in this game. The kick return all the way to the end zone for six points. Sanders now to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision, loses him about four yards. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free and it's second down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Now Stafford. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. In need of a third and ten conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. To throw is Stafford. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And he is going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That last pass puts him over 300 yards now in the game. More importantly, though, big first down here in OT. And the team around him has a lot of confidence now after picking up that first down. Everyone seems a little more energized. But did I hear you before the game call in and say, this is my quarterback for your fantasy <laughs> league because he just gave you a good stat, didn't he? He did, and I appreciate it. Stafford on first down. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Keeping the aggression going on defense in overtime here, a first down blitz. You know you can get burned on it big time if they pick it up, but in this situation, they brought the blitz, put some pressure on the QB, and he wasn't able to complete a pass downfield. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Throwing again at Stafford. That is incomplete. One of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Stafford. Oh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. 
Well, their defense did its job. Now they're going to get the football with a chance to win it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told the offense, don't worry about this. We got you. Okay, we've got the situation under control. We'll get it back for you for a chance to win the game. And, boy, they did it well. They snap it to Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Dolphins get the football in great field position. Well, partner, you and I were excited for this one today and certainly had its moments. Some good execution at times by both of these offenses. Defenses both made some plays as well. And always a joy to be up here in the booth next to you, my friend. Yeah, it's a privilege to be up here in the booth next to you as well. Thanks for taking the time. And let's go ahead and get ready for our next one, right? I'll see you in the film room. Get that preparation started now. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've